Hi, Ben and Summon Twelve Eighty Seven back again, and yep, it is this year's Game Room Tour. So let's go ahead and take a little tour again. So again, let's start off with here because it's been mostly the basic time. So let's go over here. Cabinets again, full of other stuff. Plus, is here um, other stuff. Controllers, and then I got the rest of the controllers down here. So I got Xboxes, GameCubes, N64s, and then the other ones is just the PlayStation, the Sega's. One controller you have not seen, and it is the Philips CDI. Nintendo's. You name it. And then over here, so all the other stuff is. Because I got my NES, the CRT TV, the laptops I've been using, keyboard. Down here, Xbox 360 stuff, the Xbox itself, the Wii U, PS3. Yep, the Philips CDI. I honestly with the CDI, it's really great. I had to get the uh, capture card to work. So I had to buy another capture card for the CDI. So I could record games at least. There you go. The Retron 5, uh, PS2, PS1, another Wii for other stuff. When I get back to that, I'll see what I can do. Oh, this is actually another camera stand for what I've been using for the light again. So when it comes to video game updates and all, I'll be using that as a background light. And I got my amiibos here. Other stuff, controllers. The NES. Everdrive, I think I got one for the Super. Yep, right here. Advance. Handheld consoles is here. Other stuff, a backup mic. The Loom Cube, I've been using that. Other stuff. That goes in. My game chair. That one. Oh yeah, this BV bad boy right here is the gaming rig. Of course, as you see, I normally be streaming off of this computer right here, but I've been running a jalopy actually, which is, it has a ton of problems, but <laughs> my, my YouTube work. But right now I've been using that. Again, I've been using it for pre-recording stuff, streams. I still stream. Well, I do stream uh, retro games and whatnot. So I've been streaming off of this, not that. But I still get the pre, the quality again for streaming. Of course, my mic. New stuff here. But yeah. But this. This is actually. When I stream PC games. For pre-recorded Steam PC games. I get it from this. Cause all the stuff to that. Sprites. Oh. Actually I'm still trying to. Also I'm still recovering from the illness I had, which is, that's been going around, but I'm actually bit, I'm mentally still in the, down the dump, but I'm still under the weather, just a teeny bit, but not so much, but I'm near enough fully recovered, <laughs> what's just keeping me is the benefits, 
a bit of a stomach ache and my allergies and that's anyway but that's been helping me up for the last past couple of days oh yeah there's the board and of course it's actually hung up now I will show you what's down there where I've actually been putting these uh -oh. Actually, if you kind of see what's behind there, then I'll tell you. But all these are what I got, like my Twitch stream schedule. Now you can actually see it. My Fall Guy stats, which is, yeah. This season, I'm not really doing too bad, but six wins, I could take it. But I'm still getting darn close to 200. I'm just going to get there eventually. And then the finals for Fall Guys Rich. I won in every final. Or every season when they came out. But for this season, I have won. A jump showdown, a wall off, a blast ball, a hexaterrestrial, which that was the closest call. But two of them was a Kraken Slam win. So we'll go over here. Using that skin, the uh, NES Mini. Oh, lights. Yeah, I've been using light here. But right behind TV, I've been kind of like, okay, if I'm going to throw shade, I'm going to throw the light right behind TV to get it to move. And of course, TV itself, better stand. And of course, Super Mario Brothers can't go wrong. Been playing that throughout my childhood. Good game again. Down underneath, I got my still the original Xbox, my the Sega CD, Sega Mario Genesis, the Sega Saturn. The NES Duo, which is I could play NES and Super NES. Here on the shelf, I got the Super Game Boy, Dreamcast, NES, Super NES, the Wii, N64, PS2, my Atari 7800. My JVC X I with his own capture card, which I need to say of this, I had to get another capture card for the XI so I could play not yet Genesis games, but a better Sega CD. Better graphics too. A second model PSP, which I had to do I had to get that because I want to record PSP games. TV so I can record. So there, there it is again. The Genesis Mini, the SNES Mini, and of course, yeah, the NES Mini, Mario memorabilia, bowl games, the light, big plushies. And uh, Yoshi's really well with the Yoshi Amiibo, the Donkey Kong Kongas, the controls. Oh, Super Scope 6. I need to get a new one because I don't know what happened What happened to that one. So I've been using that as a um, model. Which I'm now off as a model. But if you go over here... Room itself. Of course, my room as well. Still, I forgot. Since this is actually going to be the game room tour for this year, as you've seen us now, this is actually the penultimate day of the year, and I still have Christmas decorations, so I do apologize. So, as you're going to see this, for this, for the upcoming week, will be the start. 2013, you see the Christmas stuff will be gone. It will be in the basement. Anyway, we're gonna flop around. Oh, yeah. Marquee light. 
Light up. Oh, I did forget to tell you how did I got them hung up. And I forgot to show you one more over there. So this is actually the stuff. And right now it's all hung up. So you see the marquee light with now playing. It's just like a movie theater. It's like going like this. The night episode's going to be already be up. And then the lineups. But I'm going to do this with my hand like. It's not going down. Because you know why? As you see, I saw you guys earlier with that. If you look down below, I've been using a thing called alien tape. And that's, and that actually worked. I saw a commercial for alien tape. It could hold up to, sorry, it could hold up to blah blah pounds. And it can extend the strength. Yeah, it is. It can win, withhold the strength. Holy cow. So if you want for a better hanging, I would recommend you guys alien tape. Highly recommend. I know sponsor sponsored, but not sponsored. I and I wish. Definitely. So going back to my game room, this is where it's all at. And it is different than last year, so let's Let's go swing this way. Because as you see, I have my Dreamcast games over here. Which, I have put them over here in every Dreamcast games. Because the one box ones I got. Let's swing over here to my GameCube games. Which you see those again in my video game collection series. And so it's my DS games. Now you can actually see my DS games in full. From top to bottom. Damn a lot good. Not much. Oh. But these rack. I did <laughs> It's kind of a good story. I did find these like good rail. And it's pretty much all to that. I also got these are good well as well. And these can actually hold out well. So not too bad. And of course over here, yeah, on top, my Xbox One game collection. Which that's been growing at its rate. And then, if I can stand back here, my original Xbox games, you see, it's growing a bit. It's getting there. My 360 games, it is growing at a really good rate. Logger games, so I backed double these, so I could have the ones here, and then have the ones out here, so... If you see them in doubles, then... Yeah, I do apologize. But these have actually been growing, and then... Oh, I also got a wreck from Goodwill today, and that's been holding well for the rest of my 360 games. And then over here, my PS3 games, which that's been actually... Holding out to a really good weight. I got more over here. Orange box X. Good one. And all the Sonics. And then over here too is what's left. And then, okay, then I'm going to head over here, because that's my PS4 game collection, and 
Yeah, that's been going. Really good way too. And then finishing off PS4 here on this rack with the PS3, so I won't combine that. The Genesis Classic, the classic Mini Box. Then I thought, well, what can I do with this part? Well, I could put that to a bookcase for Sega CD games, which it's not very much. So I'm trying to build a really good collection. Then switch over here. My 3DS game collection. Not too bad. My PSP game collection. My Sega Genesis and a Sega Master System game. Game collection, not bad. My Atari 2600 just... The same thing, so it's the Atari 7800. We'll go over here on top. Sega Saturn games. Not too much. And then put it Sega Saturn game. And I think this is the Trim B. So this is the Detana Trim B Deluxe Pack Yahoo. Which is, I can actually now say that in Japanese better. So I, I've been kind of learning. I'm saying the Japanese Sega Silent Game. So this is the the Tana Twin B Deluxe Pack Yahoo. So, I've been my first imported uh, Sega Silent, Jap Japanese Sega Silent. There we go. My Game Gear. My labels for the N64 box, uh, Master System games, my box Genesis games. So I still keep the box. Just I put them in the back, but it's like, I don't know, I'm gonna show them off. Not many of them. Vector Man 2, that's a good game. Actually, the first one's better. And then, yep. Two racks, and then another two full shells of my PS2 games, which it is really building up a great collection. You can see Monopoly Party, which I got today. Yeah, I also got it for the original Xbox and the GameCube as well, so I'll be showing you guys off. And then when I get to my Video game collection series. And then. Oh. There you go. My box. No. Oh, the Fig Pen. Hitachi from Tekken 7. My box. PS1 Grand Theft Auto. Collections of this. And yep. My PS1 games. Which that's done to grow. Well, it's a little, but I'm still grabbing some of the um, fair tile games, the oddities, and then the LED light I got from, I would say I got it from Big Lots only for about between 10 and 15 dollars, not bad. Has actually the colors on the PlayStation, which is the pink square, blue X, red circle, green triangle. And then this rack also has what's left in my PS1 game collection. A lot of good ones, too. Tekken. Good fighting game, too. And then over here is the NES Classic Mini, Game Boy, 
Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games. Over here, yeah. My CDI. I should see that's this, a CDI. So I'll be showing you one by one in the game collection series of them. Of course, my price processes, my NES, which I grew up with the NES. Of course, double sided. And then. Yeah. There you go. Good box. Uh, Super Nintendo Classic Mini. And then. Another of my price processions. My PS. My PS. My, um. Super Nintendo games. Which. Not bad by yourself. There we go. And then down below is my N64 game collection, also by Double Sided. Then we go over here. Yeah, it's my Wii game collection. And that's been growing too, which is over 400 games for the Wii. Out of 1260, which is that's a lot of Wii. My couple of reacts. That's a fun one. Of course, the ones down below. And then, like, on top of these, I have my empty box games for the Wii, the 3DS, Wii U, and some Switches. And, of course, Pac-Man's behind all that. And then, speaking of the Wii U, there they are. So, as you've probably seen this now, and I will probably say it. Monster High 13 Races, that's the game I got recently for the Wii U. And as you see right now, I am down to only 8 Wii U games left for a complete US set. So I'm almost done with that. And then we'll flop it off over here to near enough a full whack of my Nintendo Switch games. Holy cow. Over 200. Actually, this is actually 209 games for my Switch. It's the same thing for my PS4. This one's also have 209 games. So combine them both. Both, that's about 418 games. That's combined of both of my Switch and my PS4. But yeah, a lot of good games. Third, par uh, third parties, um, the regular ones. Of course, with the one I've also got two, Bayonetta 3, you name it. And then, we're going to head to my room real fast. It's to wrap up, and of course, it's my PC game collection, which, that's been also growing in a really good way. I, whoops. Went the wrong way, huh? Oh, sorry. All right. Yeah. I got it. Yeah, so I guess I'm doing this one here. And then... Doing this one here, the two is a bitch and a half, but I think I caught it down.
Oh yeah, and then the box games, long ones too. Double, double, um, double desk or multi desk. Yahtzee. The ultimate Yahtzee. We've been playing Yahtzee as most too, which is it's a lot of fun. And then we're finishing up here. So yeah, there you go. That is this year's Video Game Room Tour. So I thank you guys for tuning in or watching this. It's a lot of fun. Oh. And then, yeah, you could probably see what's behind. And then, yeah, yeah, it's the DVD game. So again, thank you. Guys. Oh yeah, and this is for our, both of my, um. PS4 on my Xbox One game is. The console is that. Uh, and there I am. Hi. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, again. Thank you all. Have a good one. And I'll see you on the next video soon.